It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Paul Anna, one of the best, in my eyes anyway, my humble opinion, one of the best breweries in the world. Paul Anna, their fantastic vice beer, absolutely love it. But we don't have the vice beer today. We have something, well, a little bit more special. This is their Salvator Doppelbock. It's in a 500 milliliter bottle and it's 7.9% ABV, 7.9% ABV. Paul and a brewery, Munich area, of course. Let me, I say, of course, I only knew recently. <laughs> um, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. I've, I've already reviewed this beer about kind of 10 years ago. Nine, maybe 10 years ago. And I absolutely loved it back then. But what's interesting, I've not watched the old video back. Look at this. Look at that for a beer. Three finger, tan coloured head. Good levels of carbonation, rolling up the glass. Very fine carbonation as the beer rolls up the glass, but it's a beautiful colour. Look at the colour on this beer. It's lovely amber, amber colour to the beer. It looks absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Good head retention on the beer, really good head retention. And the beer has been kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Beers of Europe, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. If you've been on holiday, if you worked away, and you want that very special beer, it, that you, you've been on holiday, you've worked away, you found that beer, you've drank that beer, and you've loved it, now you're back in the UK. If you want to find that beer in the UK, the best place to find it online would be beersofeurope.co.uk. There's a link in the description box of our video, or you can visit their amazing beer warehouse in Norfolk. There's a restaurant there now as well, which, I mean, Food and a massive warehouse full of beer. What's not to love, yeah? Let's get the aroma on this beer then. Oh my goodness me, 7.9% ABV. Biscuity, nutty, bready. Oh, it's just a dream. It's almost like one of those beers. It's sending me into almost like a trance. Uh, uh, you know, I need to snap out of it, get back thinking about the kind of... I am thinking about the beer review, but, you know, that kind of like, ooh... I could spend a couple of minutes just smelling this beer. It's, it's really nutty, it's really bready, it's really biscuity. Really quite fantastic, actually. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh, stone the crows, stone the crows, water beer. That is a demonstration by Paul and a brewery 
of how to use different quality malts to produce an incredibly rich, delicious, biscuity, bready, nutty, but hoppy. As I'm talking now, that kind of that sweetness of the beer kind of dissipates a little bit away, and then the hops start to kick in. And as I was talking then, the, the hops were kicking in. There's a little bit of bitterness coming through, and it's oh, it's just fantastic. It just really is absolutely fantastic. It's more than word. I was about to start talking about a wordy flavour, but it's more than that. If you've been to a brewery, uh, the word is the kind of 56 degree warm liquor that passes from vessel to vessel before they start the boiling process to boil all of it. If there's any kind of like nasties in the beer, that all gets boiled away. But when the word gets transferred, um, every single brewery has a little tap and most breweries now have a little kind of eyelet and they can see the they can see the work coming through so they can see the color of the beer make sure it's what they want the color that they want so as that beer passes through um you can get a little kind of glass and i love doing this at breweries getting a, a little glass a, a wort of beer a little glass of, of this hot wort and it's very much kind of like an oval teeny lovely sweet liquid and it's very nice in winter but of course um there's no alcohol in wort it's just that kind of sugary solution that comes from the the, the malt and the hot liquor kind of doing its thing so so it would be a little bit unfair just to say that this is kind of like just a worthy drink it's way past that it's evolved way past that point but it, it's always and I always have this with my beer reviews when I'm drinking something really 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 malty it's a case of, of uh, it's very tempting to say ah it's just worthy but it's much much more than that it's much much more than just worth the balance between the sweetness and the bitterness a little bit of carbonation look at that fine carbonation in that glass That fine carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It just this touches very fine touches of vanilla. Lots of breadiness, lots of biscuity, lots of nuttiness, digestive biscuits. And it leaves me with this question. Yes, it's called Doppelbock in Germany. So Doppel is double bock is strong so doppel doppel double strong beer eight percent seven point nine percent abv more or less eight percent abv now if you think about that in terms of british brewing if you had a strong british multi beer over here we tend to call them barley wines and the barley wine style of beer is one of those styles that you go, mm, I'll review it next time, or mm, I'll review it next time. But actually, when you finally get round to reviewing it, it's one of the finest styles out there. It's terrific. If you're a fan of multi beer, find a barley wine, find a doppelbock. You will not be disappointed, I promise you. This stuff is, well, this beer is the stuff of legend for me. If ever I make it to Germany, to Munich, I want to have this on tap. If it's as good as that in the bottle, it's going to be just a dream to have it fresh on tap in Germany. That would just be the, the most amazing thing, wouldn't it? Is it only English? No, it's all in German. Um, Munich. Um, 
Ulmulstra in, in Munich. That's the best way I can kind of describe it. 7.9% ABV. I'm ready to rate it. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful beer. I liked it 10 years ago. I love it now. Absolutely love it now. I probably didn't connect barley wine with Doppelbock all the way back then. I probably was a little bit kind of still learning my trade back then. But I think tying barley wine with Doppelbock is kind of a very, very kind of more of an advanced thing to do. I like it. It's brilliant. It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.